ahead and do you. Mm. LeBron needs you against the Nuggets. And you continuously shy away from the biggest moments. And that's why we need another dude. So, because so, because Anthony Davis, he want to be like KG on the Celtics, where it's just like, <laughs> oh, I just want to do defense. I'll get you 15 points, and that's it. Well, we need a Paul Pierce. We need somebody that could get you 25 to 20 to 30 on a given night. And I have a guy in mind. Transition to week two of the NBA season. And first off, off rip, I want to talk about um, Victor Wimbenyama because he has been on a tear. You know that meme with Vince McMahon, the Vince McMahon meme that's been going on when he's like this at the camera? Yeah. That's going to be me when they ask about his rookie season, when my kids ask about his rookie season. Mm. Because it is sensational. You know, I tweeted this. It was, um, I, I quote tweeted it, right? And it was like a highlight of his 30-point game. And I was like, Magic 1980, Bird 1980, like Jordan 1984, and LeBron 2003. LeBron 2003. I was like, yo, this is this is giving me those type of vibes where it's like one of the greatest rookie seasons we've ever seen. And just his, uh, his ability, his skill set at his size is just scary, bro. And then the fact that Shaq was going to compare him to Bobo is oh one of the worst the, takes ever. The Bobo takes have gone completely off the rails. Please stop it. Bobo could not even get in the game against the freaking Spurs. This mm. is ridiculous. You might as well you might as well compare him to Thon Maker now if you want to go that far. Man. Like, dude, come on, bro. Just just because he the dude is seven feet tall and And he has some highlights. And he has some highlights in high school. No, he has some league highlights too. I mean, I guess. Like the it's same not 10 consistent. or so they keep po- posting on Exa- Twitter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like Vic, and at Vic the beginning has of the season. That in his third game at the beginning of the season like he did that at the beginning of the season all of a sudden oh he went like real quiet and couldn't get no no pt at all so yeah bro like stop stop it man we we've never seen somebody with this this skill set at this consistency be able to do what he's doing now and it's unbelievable because he's only 19 years old and this is going to be the worst we ever seen him play if he if he somehow bulks up not on Giannis level, but at least like how Steph Curry bulked up. Man. I say like the league might be finished. I ain't gonna lie. I say like if he bulked up to like where KG was. Because mm. KG, you know, he wasn't. He was strongest. he was skinny coming too. Yeah, but if he gets to that level, then it's gonna get real scary. It's gonna get just, man, they might have to ban him from the <laughs> Bro, like I'm just I was watching um just looking at some highlights of just when he was overseas and dude, it's just like, bro, this is this is like Kobe Bryant but seven four. Like, this guy is Kobe Bryant, but he's seven four. Think about that. That's insane. That's some and shit he you technically could still grow more. Yeah, he could. He could. Which is even scarier. That's insane. You don't see this from a big. Like, this is some 2K stuff right and here. like, he can actually dribble. And you can't even really he, do that in 2K. He uses his left hand better than Jalen Brown. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> you saw that video. Yeah. Man. This dude is unbelievable. Like, I was watching the highlights, and they were so a just seven beautiful. Foot four dude, just, he, they, he just shouldn't move like He's that. He's so elegant. He's so graceful. He's not clumsy. He's not. Yeah. He's controlled out there. Even when you think he looked like he could hurt himself, he just doesn't. Mm-hmm. He's so fluid with his movements. Like it's, it's very beautiful. I think he's a test tube baby. He's a test tube. <laughs> he's a te- he was made in a lab in a tube. He was There's made- no way that is a natural born human. He's made in the uh, the Vot labs. Hey man, <laughs> he got them gen that Gen V. Man, I, I gotta watch that show too. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. watched a single episode. He 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 got that. Uh, yeah, he got some of that in there because <laughs> there ain't no telling. Like how 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 is he doing this at that size? It's, it's unbelievable. It's unprecedented. I was watching the highlights and I was just seeing him pull up from three, and I'm just like, this is not fair. Like dog, this is insane. Like a seven four big doing a hezzy into a pull up three. How are you supposed to stop that? I saw I saw it was a picture. It was uh Kevin Durant um, Next to contesting yeah. his shot. And I'm just like, yo, <laughs> KD like 6'11", and he makes him look short. Like, bruh, that's unbelievable. Once he gets a, if he gets once he gets his post game in order, he's literally going to be a, a nearly a flawless player. Man. 
Hopefully, because he get, he's getting blocks. Oh yeah. yeah, them lobs too. So easy for him. Like he he just covers so much ground. Yeah, it's. Cr- he's not a bad <sighs> horrible perimeter defender just because of the length pause, uh, and he, he you know and he's he's agile. He's mm-hmm. mobile. Mhm. It's it's a testament. The Spurs, man. y'all got so lucky, man. They did, bro. It's it, perfect situation for him. Man. You in a you in a place where. There's a culture of winning, one of the greatest coaches of all time. Um, you're not in an area where you can easily be distracted. I mean, the San Antonio. There's not much to do but <laughs> play Charles basketball. Get Charles Barkley started. Yeah, so he, he's in the perfect situation, and good for him because we need – the NBA needs a guy to – A successor to LeBron. Take the torch from LeBron, and it seems like we finally have that guy. And like, I love Giannis, but, you know, he – Unfortunately, he's still playing in the era of LeBron James and Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant. So it's it's going to be – he's not going to get the same love like when Ye- when Victor Wembanyama takes the torch from LeBron because LeBron's going to be long gone and we're going to be trying to find, okay, who's going to be that next face? And Wembanyama, the way that he plays, the way that he's – just the amount of highlights that he sort of – Shows every game, dog. It's it's looking like his world. A fr- a guy from France. Wow, <laughs> who would have thought? NBA a guy man, from the, France. The Euro the Euro players taking over, man. They are, and you know, NBA American and, born players. I better step it up. Yeah, bro. Cause, cause Steph and them about to be gone in a minute. Steph, KD, and them about to be gone, y'all. Yeah, bro. Y'all got who y'all got leading the torch now? Jason Tatum. Oh God, <laughs> Jason Tatum and uh, Devin Booker. Mm. It's sad out here. <laughs> oh my God, it's like don't get me started. All right, so then the next thing, the Suns, they lost to San Antonio twice. Uh, let me look at their record real quick. Man, Vic, Vic was staring KD in his eyes and told him, party's over, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> On some Brock Lesnar <laughs> type shit. Yeah, so so the Suns are 2-3 and three right now, uh, five-game sample size. Uh, Devin Booker didn't play, and I believe it was either two or three of the games. And he did come back and play uh, against San Antonio a second time, but they still lost, which yeah. is kind of crazy. So... Oh man, it's it's looking kind of bad for the Suns right now. Um, Frank Vogel sold that game too. He didn't call a timeout. I've been trying to tell people the Suns was regular weed this entire time. Whoa, wow! I mean, they 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 can't defend. They have no scores outside of KD, Bill, and um. Book mm-hmm. and Bill can't even get him. We don't know what the heck is wrong with his back. They oh. saying his back is pulled pork. And they traded for him too. Just jugged him. Somebody put black magic on him. Was it you? It had to be. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It had to be. It wasn't me. Man. Cause he out of all the things to put black magic on, Bradley Bill would be towards the bottom of the list. Oh, really? I mean, you the guy that said his name. I would use black magic on NFL before the NBA. You said you called him Bradley Steele. He he was. He (laughs) stole money from the Wizards organization. (laughs) Bradley Steele. But all right, I mean, I'll take your word on it. But it's just, it's just funny to me. Not funny, but it's just weird to me how like Kevin Durant teams are just bit by the injury bug. So, ah man, they they just they don't have it. They don't have <laughs> enough guys. They don't have enough dudes to defend. And I I warned people before the season. A lot of people said it too. I'm not the only person. You've agreed with me as well. But it's just this notion that. Just because you put three star players together that you're automatically are going to start going crazy. Like, nah, bro. Like, the three star players have to be in their prime, have to be healthy, sure. and have to be building chemistry together. And with Kevin Durant teams, ever since Golden State, that that just hasn't been the case. And so, I was never sold. Kevin Durant, he's like 35. <sighs> this was like Kevin Durant at 30, then maybe. But like, nah, this is Kevin Durant at 35. So, it's... uh. It's not looking too well, and I'm Frank Vogel wasn't that guy for me either. The underrated aspect of the super team stuff 
is these su- that the successful super teams still had complementary role players. Mm. Like the Heat had, they had a uh, Battier, yeah, Shane Battier, Mario Chalmers, Mario Chalmers. Even yeah. though he, him, and LeBron butted heads a lot, they had Ray Allen. Mm-hmm. You know, they had those guys, and even back on the them Lakers days and the Celtics days, they still had complementary guys that did the dirty work that still played their role perfectly, and that's why they were successful. Mm-hmm. These they, these days, they just put three stars a team with the trash can roster. Foster and expect it to work. It's not. It doesn't work like that. Mm-hmm. You're 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 right about that. Especially um, so like Golden State with Kevin Durant. They had yeah, they, Sean they had, Livingston yeah. and Iguodala. Like yep. dude, they they had guys. They had at least two quality role players that you can rely on. That you could plug and play. But with the Suns, I don't know if they have that. They they think they had that with Grayson Allen and um with um Nazir Little and all these other dudes. But I, I don't is see terrible. It. Good. Yeah, Nurkish as well. Like he's a cone on defense, and he can't score. So it's it's just a bad look for them. And I th- I'm not going I'm not going to count them out yet. They st- I have to still see them with Bill. But so far, it just doesn't look very impressive at all. Um, on the Warriors side of things, I'm gonna I was transition. just about to bring up the Warriors. They they I mean they they're winning. Uh, they beat Sacramento. I'm telling you, I'm telling you man, Steph Curry is on that Tom Brady tier. Where no matter what, you can't count them out. Can't count them out. Mm. Cause man, I, I, people thought the Warriors was going to be dead mm-hmm. in the water. Mm-hmm. They said, "Oh, they lost. They got rid of J. Man, this team is co- no. Don't ever disrespect Steph Curry in your life like that again." <laughs> you're right. You're right. And now that last game last night was super controversial about the ending. Wow. Well, what was controversial? Uh, so. Oh, oh, the Draymond. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God, Draymond, how, <laughs> bro? <laughs> I was the first one who pointed this out in the group. I was like, yo, Draymond is a is a dumbass. Like, what the hell are you doing, bro? Like, Steph has the layup. Why are you touching the rim? Like, dog, chill. I don't know why these bigs keep doing that where they're just like, I understand, you know, they want to tip it in at the end. But, bro, it's not going to help. Like, you got to And it's time a tied it. game anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, but they still won. Yeah. Uh, they got that. They got. I don't know. It, it's a, it's like sp- it's split fifty fifty on how people think that should have went. Uh, we got one hand, one end. Of people say Draymond interfered with the uh, basket interference. Then you got other hand say, well, Josh Giddy was grabbing the net before Draymond even. Touched. Wait, they they counted the basket. Yeah, they they it was a goal ten. Oh, oh man! See, I was I was sleepy by, by that uh, time. Oh yeah, but yeah, I, so they so they counted the it was they counted the basket. They gave the goal ten on Josh Giddy, so they counted the basket. Wow, that is wow! They got very lucky. That was a good game. One hundred and forty one, one hundred thirty nine. My God, <laughs> that wasn't even an OT. Yeah, that's what? crazy. What? No defense in season tournament. That was yeah. And see the turn. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. But all right, so then other things, other things. The Mavericks, they have been doing pretty well, even without until Kyrie. Last night. Yeah, until like <laughs> well, it's the Nuggets. I mean, she can't nuggets it's gonna be very hard. Man. Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah, Dallas, they they form one. Derek Lively's been playing pretty well. Luka Doncic continue to do Luka magic. Yeah. I'm Five game sample size. Yeah, we, Williams has put been. a disclaimer on that. Five games, but I, I do like what I'm seeing from the Magic. Uh, I mean, not Magic. Um, <laughs> Luca has been doing some Magic. I do like what sure. I'm seeing from the Mavericks so far. Um, I don't know if this is going to continue because I don't think they have the talent enough. I I don't know. I forget what their schedule is. I know they just they just played the Nuggets and they lost. Um, who else did they play? Let me see here. They played the Bulls. Uh, Bulls kind of trash. Um, who else? Did they played. They played the Grizzlies. The Gri- who? Oh, Grizzlies. Oh Oh my God. <laughs> good. Good job, Ja. Good job. You you screwed man, your that team. team. Is man. If even if Ja comes, when Ja comes back, I don't even know if I want to play him. They played the Nets. I mean, the Nets they are all right, but it's like uh, let's see who else they play. They played the Spurs. Oh yeah, that was I mean, that was okay. W, it's okay. W, and they played the Pistons. I mean, they schedule was. Uh, hey, you gotta it's get okay, hey, but you, you gotta beat the people you play. Yeah, that is true. So, 
I'm not gonna like go too crazy on the four and one start because they haven't played a whole lot of good comp yet. But I I will say that so far they they look good. Luca playing well and Derek Lively looks like a, a all rookie player. So good for them. Yep. Mhm. All right, and then. Let's see what what else we got in store. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, Darren De'Aaron Fox is going to be out for a little bit. I, f- I think he injured himself during um the Warriors game. No, it was the Lakers game. Excuse me. So he's going to be out for a little bit. Uh, I haven't really. Oh yeah, the box. Your boys. You see what happened was right. Uh, dang, I don't even know. Hmm. They just. They are currently the 29th ranked defense. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's really bad. I think something. I I I, I refuse to believe Drew Holiday carried that did that much heavy lift. I refuse to believe it. Something is wrong, coaching wise. Mm. Or they're just taking a minute to jail. Or, but but it's only all they did was add one player. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Drew is an all defensive player. All. First team all defense, but from that much of a drop off is something syst- systematically has gone wrong. Yeah, I mean going from a top five defense to one of the worst. Yeah, like th- one player isn't doing that. <sighs> might I mean you especially you could a have perimeter a case. defender? You could have a case. It might be something schematically that yeah, they're not yeah, doing. Yeah, something has to be going. On. Might might be a menace thing like certain players not in the lineup and certain sort of time to the game that need to be that are defensive guys. It it could be a rotational issue as well. So also could be Giannis's um he's playing more on ball now mm-hmm. instead of being more a help guy. So maybe mm-hmm. that could have something to do with it. The paint may be a little more vulnerable. So could be. Dudes are getting older, Brooke Lopez. I mean you never you never know, but I, I, I don't know. I haven't really been I don't watching expect the Bucks. this to keep up for yeah, I don't Super think they're going to be the 29th worst defense. I no. think that's that'll correct itself over time. Um, I will say that Damian Lillard has – was it – it was one game. He had a, a stinker. I, for, I don't know what that game was, but – I forgot to. Yeah, no, it wasn't It wasn't this past game. He he, he showed up in huge uh, past the games. Knicks. Yeah, against the Knicks, but um, Julius Randle, good grief, boy! Me, why do they? Why is he still on the roster, bro? His shooting splits are crazy. It looks like birthdays. Yes, bro. It it, it it man, look like tour dates. It it was bad. Anywho, uh, let's see, Bucks, 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 Bucks. Let's. I think it was Wednesday where they just. Was it Wednesday or was it Tuesday? Let me try to find it. Oh, it was against the Ra- yeah, it was against the Raptors. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he, he was it was bad. He four for nine. Why he only attempt nine shots? Yeah. I don't Why know. Dame only attempt nine shots? Giannis, he 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 was five for eleven. Nurse rolls. This is Wait, is n- No, he, 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 he don't even a coach no more. Anymore. Bruh, like I'm looking at the I'm looking at the shot attempts for some of these players and I'm just I'm confused. Like they must have they must have been getting blown out from the jump. They was down pretty. They was down like thirty at one. Because Giannis, he he had twenty eight minutes. He only shot eleven times. Middleton only shot ten times. Dame only shot nine times, and Malik Beasley shot more than Dame. Malik Beasley's on the on the Bucks. Bucks? Yeah, huh. he shot more than Dame. But anywho, last night, Damian Lillard did it again. He closed. Like he was expected to do for the Bucks, and he was sensational. I will say that he he put his stamp on the game when it mattered most. And Giannis, he didn't really have to do much, which is good because you, when it comes to Giannis, he's not that guy. Like he's not a dude that closes games. Now, is he clutch? He can be clutch. I've seen him be clutch in the NBA Finals, Game Six of all games, dropping fifty. But in terms of here's the ball. Where it's five minutes remaining, close the deal. That's not Giannis is not consistently that dude when it comes to something like that. When it comes to Damian Lillard, that's what he is. That's who he. That's who he's always been. Dame time. 
clock on the wrist. And this is the second time he's done it this year. And so far, I like what I see from Dane. I just think the defensive side is where I'm concerned. So I don't know if they'll be able to correct it. I expect them to correct it. But if Dame continues to do this, I like the Bucks' chances. <laughs> Albeit it is the Knicks. The Knicks aren't a bad team. They aren't. They, I mean, they almost beat the they almost beat the Celtics. If Julius Randle and um, those other players didn't play play CTE ball at the end, <laughs> but I mean, man, the the Bucks. I, I like the Bucks' chances. If Dame could continue to do this, and Giannis doesn't have to carry the load, pause, then. Yeah, the Bucks still be they'll be fine. Yeah, I, th- I think I think the defense will just correct itself throughout the season. Mm-hmm. And you know, still small sample size, so yeah, can't really make any bold proclamations about it. Right, right. Okay, so let's see who what else? What other stories are there in NBA? You I mean, want to talk about your Lakers? Oh yeah, I'm glad you I'm glad you reminded me. See, you know why I forget because it's just like with my team, I'm just. All right, like we we're, we're gonna be good, but at the end of the day, it's all about beating the Nuggets. And unfortunately, the Nuggets have our number right now. And the Nuggets has everyone's number. It seems like. Yeah, but it just seems with us, it's like we're we're such a really good team. We've been. So could you say it's like the 49ers and Cowboys, <laughs> where it's just like, no matter what, we can't beat these dudes. Nah, nah, nah. You know what it is? It's the 49ers and the Seahawks back when the Legion of Boom, mm. back when Kaepernick was under the helm as the quarterback. That's what it is. Mm. That's what this reminds me of because right now we're in a position where we, we have a good ro- – it's a good roster. But at the end of the day, we don't have the dudes that can – make life difficult for Jokic. We don't have the dudes that can make life difficult for Murray. We don't have the dudes that can sort of um that can sort of match up with Denver's size. Like, bruh, their size is crazy. From well, why you say that? Oh, that's a yo moment. <laughs> hey, that's yo. a yo. That's a pause. That's yeah, a pause. Sounds, Bro, the 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 height the height difference is just it's not even close. Like they have Porter Jr. He's like six nine, something like that. They have uh, KCP's like six five. Uh, Murray six three. Jokic is six ten, six eleven. Uh, you have Gordon who's six eight. Like these guys are, bruh. What? And then we're starting Reeves, who's like maybe six <laughs> two. Um, we're starting D'Lo. He's like six five. Uh, obviously LeBron. He's like six eight. AD. He's he's our center, and he's like six ten. You know six five. Yeah, he like six five. Oh, like six three. Nah, he ain't no six three. Dude is yeah, he's tall, bro. Mm-hmm. Like coming out of the draft, like people was like comparing him to Penny Hardaway because oh. of his size and everything like that. But yeah, but eighty eighty's the center, but he doesn't play like a center when he's going up against Jokic. Like he's just if AD would play more like a big when he's going up against Jokic, we would have a much better chance. But whenever he sees Jokic. It's like he's a deer in headlights. It's like the first half he'll play well, the second half he don't show up. It's just unbelievable. It's like, it's like he think Jokic is Hakeem Olajuwon on defense or something. Like why? Why are you just go ghost on us in the second half against Jokic? Like Jokic is not no lockdown defender. Like he's improved, but he's not no lockdown defender. And it just seems like Anthony Davis, whenever he plays against the Nuggets, he just goes ghost. So that's why I. When when you say, oh, you weren't going to talk about your Lakers, it's like, I mean, all right, we beat the Clippers first time in, like, 11 tries. Cool. But, like, they're not going to be the team standing in our way. It's going to be that team. It's going to be the Nuggets standing in our way. And until we beat that team, we're not going anywhere. Mm. And we ha- we're we going to have to make a trade. <laughs> we are. We're going to have to make a trade. I'm sorry, bro. Like, dog, we're going to have to make a trade. You know what we need? Oh my goodness! This is the funniest fan base in the world. You know what we need, bro? We need a bucket getter, bro. <laughs> like we need somebody. He's <laughs> too laughing, bro. <laughs> we need somebody that listen. Your assignment is to get buckets, get twenty twenty five. 
Because right now we don't have nobody that can consistently do that. I like Reeves. I like D-Lo. But those dudes go ghost on us. Those dudes, when they play Denver, it's just like, oh, my God. Oh, we, they expect us to score. Like, I'm, I'm shivering in my boots. Like, dog, what, what's going on? You just had 20 against the Warriors. Now you want to shiver up against, against the Nuggets? Like, what's going on? So we need a dude that can give us 20, 25, bro, <laughs> like, on a consistent basis. Because this should get ridiculous, bro. They keep getting away with this. They keep oh, doing bro, it goodness. over and over again. And it's unbelievable because we don't have nobody that could guard Murray and AD can't do anything against um, Nikola Jokic. So we need somebody that could just get buckets because I'm hearing all this excuse about AD. Like, man, why are you so hard on the AD, bro? Like, do you not see the defense he's been doing? Yeah, against other teams. But what about the Nuggets? Mm -hmm. He can't do anything against the Nuggets. He's a ghost against the Nuggets. He shivers. He's scared. Mm -hmm. He 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 shies away from from the attention when it comes to the Nuggets because he don't want the blame. He, he he want LeBron to get all the blame. He don't want the blame. He like, hey LeBron, go ahead and do you. Mm -hmm. LeBron needs you against the Nuggets, and you continuously shy away from the biggest moments. And that's why we need another dude. So because so, because Anthony Davis, he want to be like KG on the Celtics, where it's just like, <laughs> oh, I just want to do defense. I'll get you fifteen points. And that's it. Well, we need a Paul Pierce. We need somebody that could get you 25 to 20 to 30 on a given night. And I have a guy in mind. If you say Zach Levine, I'm going to <laughs> end, the, end the podcast early and we will move on to the NFL. You know, here's the thing, because maybe it is Zach Levine. <laughs> maybe it is. Who, who else would it be? I mean, bruh, he's the best option. Zach Levine, he hasn't played on any winning team. He just dropped 50 the other night, albeit they did lose. But at the same time, like, dude, is a he's a scorer, and all he will have to do is score. Realistically, what would y'all give up that the Bulls would actually want? I don't know. I don't know. That's I'll not, tell that's you this right my, now. What? You might have to give up Reeves. I know, right? And possibly D Lo. I know, right? Mm. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what's gonna take. Maybe mm. we gotta do it. Maybe, we, maybe that is what it is. But I, I will, I will say that we need a guy that can give us buckets, and Zach Levine fits the bill. Because right now, AD can't do it against the Nuggets, and we we need to go band for band against the Nuggets, and and. We keep making the same mistakes over and over again. And it's clear as day we're not on their level. It's mm. clear as day we don't have that guy. We don't have the dudes necessary in order to go up against them. Some, some it could be defensively, but I think that – I don't think we – no matter who we get from, from a defensive perspective, I don't think we're going to be able to stop the Nuggets on offense. So we're, we're going to have to match them offense for offense. And the only way to do that is get a guy that can – Get you a consistent 20, 25. And I believe that that could possibly be Zach Levine. I don't think there's anybody else that we could really go after with the players that we'll be able to give to the Bulls and the picks. Um, I don't think we'll have, we could have a package for Donovan Mitchell if he's disgruntled with Cleveland. I don't think we, we have a package for Donovan Mitchell. But Zach Levine is a possibility. So that's, that's my only answer because if we can't do that, then I don't see us winning. Mm. At least you're keeping it real. Yeah, at least I'm keeping it real. But we did beat the Clippers. Bums. I was just playing. I really don't care about the Clippers. <laughs> I really don't care. They won the finals, y'all. They finally beat the Clippers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. They, they really do need James Harden after what, that, what happened in that game. All 